Look how delicious that looks. Hello everyone. It is that time of the year. It's fall. I'm going to show you how to make an original pumpkin roll cake. I've had many people ask about this one. I've never done this one yet. We're going to do it today. Make sure you have a can of 100% pure pumpkin, some delicious spices, and some cream cheese. And then you just need a few other pantry ingredients to put this together. Y'all ready? You know you want to see me flip this cake. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you how to do it nice and easy. Let's get this one done. The first thing you want to do is prepare your pan and have that ready before we start the cake batter. I am using a 12 by 18 roll cake pan or it's called a half sheet baking pan. So what we're going to do, just take some regular cooking spray. You just want to lightly spray your pan. Just enough that we're going to place some parchment paper on top of it and it'll help it stick to the pan. That way when we pour the cake batter into our pan, the parchment doesn't move around. Now what we're going to do is grease the top part of our parchment. That way it'll keep the cake from sticking. We want that extra insurance. So I'm just using some Baker's Joy because it has some flour in there and flour is really good to help release your cake from your pan or even the parchment. Now you can grease your parchment and then flour it and just kind of take the excess off if you want to do that. I'm going to kind of grease it good like you would the bottom of a pan. Go ahead and set this aside. Now I'm preheating my oven to 375 degrees. We're going to go ahead now and start putting the dry ingredients into a bowl and getting that sifted. I'm just using a small medium bowl and a sifter. We're going to start by placing three quarters cup of all purpose flour into our sifter. We're going to put everything into the sifter first before we start sifting. That way it'll kind of blend it together. All right, the other dry ingredients, quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, then we're going to add our spices half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground clove. We're going to sift this into our bowl. It's fall. I can't wait to bring this one out. I've always wanted to make a roll cake. There we go. We're going to set aside our flour mixture. Bring over a large mixing bowl. We're going to add one cup white granulated sugar, we're going to crack in three large eggs, now I just brought these to room temperature, helps keep the cake fluffy. I like to crack them into a separate bowl, that way I can make sure there's no shells in it and we're not digging shells out of our sugar. There we go. I'm 
I'm going to take an electric hand mixer. We're going to beat the sugar and the eggs together until it's nice and creamy. The color will change on you and get very light. Okay, that looks really good. You can see how it's pale in color and it's a thick, creamy consistency. So we're going to turn it off. I'm going to leave that there for just a minute. Now I'll have to show you my Arizona towel right here. We love to visit Arizona for the Grand Canyon, Sedona, Flagstaff, Jerome, all of those cities. And I found this towel there, and it's a tea towel, and it was perfect for this recipe here to use for our roll cake. So that's why I have an Arizona right here. We're from Texas. <laughs> We're going to add two-thirds cup of 100% pure pumpkin. Now I'm just going to use my measuring tool here. Now make sure it is not the pumpkin pie filling that you get in a can because it's going to be way too sweet for this recipe because we've already got sweeteners going in. We're going to blend this together. Bring my flour mixture over. We're going to start incorporating that. We'll put half in. You know what? I'm going to put it all in. Just put it all in. <laughs> Blend this all together. You want it on the slow speed. Get you a spatula and pull down the sides. We're not going to overmix. Once we get everything incorporated, we'll turn off the mixer and then just fold it. Oh yeah, look at that. It smells delicious. Let's bring our prepared baking dish back over. We're going to pour our cake batter into the center and let it kind of spread out nice and even. You want to get all of that batter out of there. You need it all. Now just spread it out evenly. It's going to be a very thin batter. I'm going to take a paper towel and just get the, any excess that's on the side off. Shake it around just a little bit. Pop it on your counter a few times. We're going to place this in the oven for about 13 to 15 minutes. You want to be able to touch the center of the cake and have it kind of spring back at you and that'll let you know that it's done. You don't want to overcook the cake, so just keep an eye on it. So our oven is preheated at 375 degrees. So what I'm doing is getting my towel ready. You're going to need a tea towel about as long as the cake. So it's going to be about a 12 by 18 that you want. We're going to take about four to five tablespoons of powdered sugar, place it all over our tea towel, and then spread it out. You want to have this ready before the cake comes out of the oven. We'll see if that's enough right there. So just take your clean hand and spread it out. Till it's totally covered. Nice big coating. Oh, perfect. Okay, as fast as it comes out of the oven, you're going to want to take your pan, take it on the edges, and then we're just going to flip it onto the powdered sugar. Very fast. There we go. I'm just going to get a knife, release the pan. Perfect. What we're going to do now is take the parchment off of the back of the cake. Just peel it off carefully. You want to do this when this cake came right out of the oven. You want it hot. You want to do this fast. Yeah. Now you want to start on the short end and put your towel and start rolling your cake. You 
You're going to bring a wire rack over. We're going to place our cake on it. We're going to let this sit for one hour to cool down. Now, no longer than one hour before we need to start unrolling it. So about 15 minutes before that hour is up, we're going to make our cream cheese filling. To make the cream cheese frosting, we're just going to need a medium bowl. I'm going to place one package, eight ounces of cream cheese. Now, you want to make sure that it's softened, brought to room temperature. Now, if you need to soften it, you can put it into your bowl. Make sure that it's microwave safe. Place it in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds to soften it up. We're going to add six tablespoons of butter. Now again, I brought this to room temperature. I'm going to pop this in the microwave just to give me a little insurance there. Melt that for about 20 seconds. Now you don't want it melted, you just want it softened. All right, we're going to cream this together until it's nice and smooth. We're going to start incorporating one cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to do it like one third cup at a time. Now in my last scoop, I'm going to go ahead and add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now you want to make sure that your mixture is pretty thick because it's going to be like a frosting on the cake and you don't want it just to ooze out of your cake. So if you need to add some more powdered sugar, you can add some more powdered sugar if you want to. All right, let's bring the cake over. All right. You know who these are going to. <laughs> okay, we're going to start unrolling our cake very carefully. We're going to take our cream cheese frosting. We're going to spread it around. So what you want to do is make sure that we don't frost one inch from each edge of the cake. Because it's going to spread and you don't want to spread it outside of the cake. take some plastic wrap and roll the cake onto the plastic wrap when we get there. We're going to start on the short end of the cake and you're going to take your towel. This is going to help you roll it. You don't want to roll the towel into the cake anymore. So we're just going to take it and help push the cake as we're rolling it. There we go. Using the cake to help you roll it. This is going to allow it to hold its shape. All right, I'm going to place it into a pan or you can put it on a plate that's long and we're going to place this in the refrigerator. Be very careful. There we go. We're going to place this in the refrigerator for at least one hour to set up. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this off. Okay, I've taken the plastic wrap off and I've placed it on a nice serving platter. I'm going to cut off the ends just to make it kind of purty. All right, I'm going to decorate it with some powdered sugar. Okay, what do y'all think? Oh, I'll be so happy to put this on my Thanksgiving table, but I will enjoy this before Thanksgiving. It is fall. I'm gonna slice a piece and give it a try for you. Look how delicious that looks. 
Oh, I'm going to go in for a bite. Oh, the sponge of the cake is nice and soft. Look at that cream cheese. Mmm. Mmm. I love that cream cheese filling in there. That's really delicious. I can taste that pumpkin in there. It just reminds me of pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. Who's making this one this fall? I showed you how easy it was to put together. I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Y'all, that sponge of this cake is very delicious. Very delicious. All right, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I have a lot of pumpkin recipes. I will link them down below in the description box in a playlist. Or you can go to my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm.